Good day and welcome to my garage. Yeah, it came off. No, this is not working. It crashed. I have the manifold um, mounted in the chuck. Uh, trying to get this light right is very difficult. All right, I need to make the start of the cavity for here. It's about 13 millimeters deep. I'll uh, just start this and then um, put a a 10 mm a 10 mil drill in and run it down about uh, uh, 9 10 mil and that should give me a hole that when I cross drill through there I can see if everything works out that uh, the aim the aim was correct so let's first put a, uh, a small a small um, hole in here I've got the drills the machine going slow mainly because of the next drill coming up That's a, we'll go just a little bit deeper. Okay, that will definitely get me started. So I've got the the hole in this end here. Now I need to run it through. That's going to be interesting. I can't do it on the milling machine because I need let's see, that's about a 110, 115 deep which means the drill has to be out here 115, that's 250 the mill is about 150 so I'm a long way out might be able to cheat and fit it on the lathe so I've got about uh, 270, to, let's say 250, that's 125, so it depends on how big, depends on how big the drill, uh, drill chuck is for the tail stop, but I might be able to work my way around that. So <coughs> getting the readiness for that, uh, this needs to be machined off, and a faced off on the end. So I'm just going to get the one way out. Actually that's pretty good. The reason this came apart the last time was um, I didn't tighten the screws and it, they worked themselves loose. Okay, all four are tightened up. Let's let me let me mount it on the lathe. Well 
Well, I managed to get this thing running fairly true. I think it is true, actually. And, um, well, by the time I set all this up, got it up and running, it was too late to... Um, <laughs> no, I just kept going. I just kept going and forgot about recording. So, bad luck. I'm, anyhow, I managed to get an end in there and um, machine machine that down to the 19 millimeters so that should be good now I'll attempt to get a drill bit down the down the center of that uh, I'll set that up and hopefully remember to turn you on Uh, this is a 6mm drill, we'll start with that. Got to tighten the tail stock up. I, I haven't broken anything. I broke the handle. I broke the handle off. Rotten thing. Let's get back into this hole. Well, I've got the manifold mounted on the milling machine. I'm now going to uh, uh, bore out the manifold track. Uh, that's a that was the 10 mil drill I used in the lathe. So I've lined, <coughs> I've put it back in to line up with the collet to get that at the right uh, position. Uh, and now I'm going to step over. Uh, and make make the intact track oval shaped. Uh, this end is uh, 14 and a half mil, but don't know whether you can see that down there. It's it's oval. Well, it's a slot. It's a slot at that end. And that is because this is neck down here. It actually sits on the motor that way. Clears the, um, goes over the top of the barrel, so it has to clear there. And then the uh, uh, magneto pickup, it has to clear over the top. So 14 and a half mil round there and then it nicks down. No, you can't see it, but anyhow. 
and then it goes down to a, a slot at that end. So I'm trying to recreate that slot and open this manifold up. So uh, I know that slot is about 12 millimetres. Uh, 10 millimetres on the small diameter and 12 millimetres on the long diameter, if that makes sense. So I'll set this up and just step, step the, uh, the manifold over one millimetre each side of that 10. Things usually work a bit better when I press the recording button. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it does fit. I didn't think it would. Didn't think I had to travel. But it does. So let's see how this second side goes. We are recording this time, yeah. Okay, that is all the way through. Alright, that looks pretty good from my end. I set this up in the mill to, uh, and I used a countersink and I bored out a good percentage of this chamber. I'm presently uh, uh, got the die grinder out and I'm opening it up. So that's what I'm doing. That's pretty good. I just need to um, polish it up a bit more.
whole intake manifold is uh, cast, machined, fitted and running. There we go. Make your own Briggs and Stratton intake manifold.